the ten tribes of Israel historically identified with the Aborigines of the Western Hemisphere. By MRS. Simon. Theocratic Government. Baron Humboldt discoursing on the theocratic form of government of the Zac, Balga, and Peruvians, remarks, that by the tradition of the former, their government was founded by a mysterious personage, who lived in the Temple of the Supreme Light, 2000 years ago of Quetzalcoatl, which signifies the serpent with green feathers, they say he introduced the boring of the ear, that he walked barefoot, himself seeking as a chosen place of retirement the volcano Setseptl, or mountain of speech, and see. He held the reins of government, taught them to cast metals, ordered fasts, and regulated the intercalations of the Toltec year. Though their ancient legislator is called by a name importing a serpent with green feathers, yet he was an ancient man and white-bearded called by Montezuma a holy man, who led and taught them many things. Don Alonza Ursula says in his History of Chile, the religious belief of the Oracarians is sublime. They acknowledge a supreme being, whom they denominate by a word expressive of supreme essence. They also call him the Spirit of Heaven the Great Life the Thunderer the Omnipotent the Eternal the Infinite. The government of this glorious creator is the prototype of their polity. They are all agreed in the immortality of the soul, this animating and consolatory truth is deeply rooted and innate with them. They hold, that man is formed of two. Theocratic Government 87. Substances essentially different the corruptible body and the incorruptible and eternal spirit. They have a tradition that the earth was covered with water, yet not destroyed and that the same earth shall be covered with fire but not destroyed. There shall be great signs before the end, and see. Locke, one of the ablest men Great Britain ever produced, observes, that the commonwealth of the Jews, differed from all others, being an absolute theocracy. The laws established there, concerning the worship of the one invisible deity, were the civil laws of that people, and a part of their political government, in which God himself was the legislator. In this, observes Dr. Bodino, the Indians profess the same thing precisely. This is the exact form of their government, which seems unaccountable, were it not derived from the same original source, and is the only reason that can be assigned for so extraordinary a fact. It may be said, that the Jews were long governed by judges and kings. But these were not of their appointment, but of the appointment of God under him, as his substitutes or vicegerents. Blessed be the Lord thy God, who delighted in thee, to set thee on his throne to be king for the Lord thy God. One again, they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. Two again, and now ye think to withstand the kingdom of the Lord, in the hands of the sons of David. Three agreeably to the theocracy or divine government of Israel, the Indians think the deity to be the immediate head of their state. All the nations of the Indians have an inexpressible contempt of the white people. They used to call us, in their war orations, the accursed people, but they flatter themselves with the name of the beloved people. Underscore 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 one two Chronicles nine eight two one Samuel Viaduct seven three two Chronicles thirteen eight eighty eight Theocratic government because their supposed ancestors, as they affirm, were under the immediate government of the deity, who was present with them in a very peculiar manner, and directed them by prophets, while the rest of the world were aliens and outlaws to the covenant. When the old Archimagus, or any one of their magi, is persuading the people at their religious solemnities to a strict observance of the old beloved or divine speech, he always calls them the beloved or holy people, agreeably to the Hebrew epithet am I, my people, during the theocracy of Israel. It is their opinion of their theocracy, that God chose them out of all the rest of mankind, as his peculiar people. When any of their beloved people die, they soften the thoughts of death, by saying, he is only gone to sleep with the beloved forefathers, and usually mention a common proverb among them, Neotok in Taha, the days appointed, or allowed him, were finished. And this is their firm belief, for they affirm that there is a fixed time and place, when and where everyone must die, without any possibility of averting it. They frequently say, such a one was weighed on the path, and made to be light. They always ascribe life and death to God's unerring and particular providence. 1. 1 Adair in the Star in the West